hey thank you so much for tuning into our channel so something brought you here i'm very very sure is that you want some extra support for your agacmp exam review or you just want you just wanted to take a look at some of our topics or what we offer well welcome please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to get any kind of updates that we may have Dr. Kende Elisha speaking here, founder of MP Certification Academy. We have 99.9% .9 pass rate on our reviews. Just visit www.npcertificationacademy.com to see what we may have to offer. In addition, if you want to email us, info at npcertificationacademy.com or nurse to nurse coach at gmail.com. So what are the questions that students normally have when it comes to our QQRMP? First, students want to ask, what is the structure of the course? And that question is very, very simple to answer. So the structure of the course is, first of all, it takes place on Zoom. We have the four weeks accelerated course, very, very ideal for fast track learners who are exam ready. They just want something to brush it up quickly. Eight weeks comprehensive course, that one is detailed. And with the eight weeks comprehensive course, it's preferred, it's good for students uh, who prefer structured pacing, uh, content reach, strategy, clinical depth, and case studies. We bring it all in here. So if you have been out of school for a long time, or if you feel like you just want that detailed comprehensive review, then eight weeks course is for you. Now, after the eight weeks, you get to actually sit in again for four weeks extra if you need it. So technically you're paying for 12 weeks for just the eight weeks course. Now for the four weeks course though, as soon as you're done with your four weeks, you're done with our platform as well. So just think about it and know what is best for you. Let me, you know, try to figure out how much time you really need to be in our review. Now, the second uh, question that people generally ask is, you know, is the course based on uh, official AGACM exam blueprint? Absolutely, yeah, that's a very valid question. It better be nothing but that. Uh, yes, of course, it's strictly based on this. Uh, it's aligned with ANCC, that's AGACMPBC or AACN. That is AC and PC slash ag blueprints and we focus strictly on the domains tested we don't go out of it acute complex critical care conditions diagnostic evidence-based interventions acute care pharmacology we give you mnemonics on how to remember this professional role scope of practice is very very common on ancc now aacn doesn't have a lot of uh, non-clinical but they are very very heavy on the clinical does it make sense so there are two exams for acute care we have the AANCC and we have the AACN. So keep that in mind. So the, just try and choose your type of exam that you want to take based on your strengths and weaknesses. Okay. If you like non-clinical, you might want to go for ANCC. If you like clinical a lot, you might want to go for AACN. Okay. But they both contain the clinical. AAC, ANCC also contain clinical and non-clinical. Now, what about how content heavy is this review? Very content heavy. It's a comprehensive content intensive review designed to prepare you for high stakes, high acuity, decision making topics generally will include what? All major organ systems like cardiac, like pulmonary, like neuro, like renal, GI, endocrine, labs, imaging, procedures and emergency management, in-depth pharmacology for acute and critical care, ICU level case interpretation and protocol application. And of course, uh, the fourth question that people generally ask is what kind of test taking strategies are included? Well, that's very straightforward. Uh, we, equip you to, we equip you with st strategies that have been proven and if, to be very, very effective. We show you how to identify the stem, the distractors, the distractors, the keywords, excuse me, prioritization tools like ABC, safety, time sensitivity. We're going to teach you how to eliminate strict options like you know, first, best, most appropriate, a good thing. They don't usually use these words anymore because they serve as a little bit of a trap for students. So, uh, but still, there are keywords to still look out for. Don't forget, uh, exam question for ANCC particularly contains 175 and 25 is not yours. And now the next question is going to be what? Uh, is this course suitable for new graduates or repeat test takers? Absolutely, yes. This review is designed for new graduates preparing for tests for the first time. Repeat test takers who need clinical refreshers, new strategy tools, or confidence boosters. It's also designed for students with ADD, ADHD, or any kind of heightened anxiety. Our final semester AGACMP students can also join this review if they want to stay ahead of the game. When students haven't finished school yet, their anxiety level is not so high yet. So many students even join our review while in school. A QKRMP seeking board recertification review can also join our review. Now, number six. Are there live sessions or is it all self-paced? No, uh, you can get both. You can get both, but we recommend you come to class for that networking 
attend our weekly live Zoom session in real time uh, so that you can have that connection with your teacher. Uh, you can ask questions. Uh, recordings also are available, absolutely. And we also moderate some recordings in class because the content is so large. Uh, we also have some self-paced module, modules. You do have downloadable slides. We don't have to worry about that. No book required. You do have quizzes that simulate or that mimic the, te the test. And then we teach you based on the most up-to-date guidelines. We teach you laboratory guidelines. We teach you uh, uh, treatment guidelines. We teach you assessment guidelines and how to approach all of this. Uh, option bonus session also is available, especially when somebody is testing and they are very, very anxious. We try to definitely uh, bring up some mock questions and put everybody together to have a large review. Now, the next question, do you provide practice questions and case studies? Absolutely. Yes, I think I got ahead of myself. Yes, we do provide uh, practice questions and case studies, board style practice questions with full rationales, case-based simulations, modeled after the real AGACMP exam scenarios. Weekly quizzes and post-module assessments can also help reinforce learning. So the next question, do I need to prepare for course uh, before the course starts? Well, no preparation is required, but of course it's recommended if you have the time to do that. We do recommend that you focus on the basics though, which is the foundation. It is hard to teach an anatomy and physiology in a board exam review. So it's always nice if you have that foundation so we don't have to keep going back and forth, trying to refresh, trying to, you know, trying to, uh, try, trying to repeat and, and refresh and reteach it. It's always nice that way. Uh, basic pathophysiology is also important to have as a, as a foundation. And of course, uh, we also show you where to download the blueprint so you can use as a checkup. And we also have some created in a PDF file so you can check it out. You can make sure you check off your list every domain you have to do well on you cannot pass one domain and not pass the other domain your score is not going to add up and we don't want that happening we don't want you having three points to pass it's painful we want you to hit every domain you don't have to score everything to pass this test uh, but we want you to get high enough to pass okay now um uh, question nine does the course include pharmacology and procedures absolutely we are very very content heavy when it comes to pharmacology exam is content heavy on farm as well uh, IV push, drips, vasopressors, sedatives, antibiotics, anticoagulant, insulin, electrolyte protocols, ABG interpretation, chest tubes, intubation, even ventilator, central lines. We deal with all of this. Now, question number 10. When I, will I get a CEU? Absolutely. Upon completion, you will receive a certificate of completion. Uh, CEU unit is if eligible uh, through our accrediting partners. And that will be, of course, we, have, we are accredited uh, by um, Kansas State Board of Nursing. Now, 11, what if I question, uh, what if I have questions after the course ends? That's not a problem. I'm available for you until you test, whether your course is ended, has ended or whether your course is ending or whether you're already out of the class. I'm still responsible for you. You're going to be my partner even after you finish uh, the course. In fact, after you pass the course, we put you into our expert group so that we can continue to guide you throughout your career. So you will get 30 days extended support, uh, including access to private study group, uh, you know, post course office hours post course office hours so you're going to have access to us email call or anything and our call is phone number is right here 3479016037 so how do i enroll and when does it when does the next course start that's very easy you visit our website www.npcertificationacademy.com is right here www.npcertificationacademy.com you're going to see the calendar uh, of the available date um you know space is always limited so we encourage that you enroll early and we generally have a four weeks and eight weeks review. A lot of students finish a long time ago, so they pick the eight weeks review. Uh, some students that are fresh out of school and they feel like they were connected with the content and they know that they can get by with the four weeks and they have that, uh, I would say, personal or self-zeal, that energy to study by themselves, uh, they definitely prefer the four weeks. So that's all up to you. I really hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let us know. And we look forward to having you in our review. Thank you so much for taking time to listen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and spread the word. Have a wonderful day.